Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, and in this video, I will be upgrading my Nutanix Objects cluster from version 1.0 to the latest using Lifecycle Manager. Now, one of the key benefits of Nutanix Objects is the containerized architecture. The components that make up the object store are all running as containers within a Kubernetes pod. This allows flexibility when scaling out or upgrading the software because not every container will need to change, which in turn will result in faster upgrade times. To start the upgrade process, we will go to Lifecycle Manager by clicking Administration LCM, and we'll perform inventory since there's a new version available. Now I've checked the box to enable auto inventory, so I won't have to do this manually next time. Any new update of Lifecycle Manager will happen automatically. Now I've sped up this part of the video so that we don't have to wait the 10 minutes or so it takes for LCM to update. Now remember, since I enabled auto update, for future upgrades, we will just be able to go straight to the software update itself without having to update LCM. Once inventory is complete, we can see that we have three updates for objects. MSP is the underlying Kubernetes-based infrastructure on which Objects runs as an application. Objects Manager is the component that runs as part of Prism Central that manages the different object stores. And Object Service is comprised of the object store components themselves, such as Zookeeper, Object Controller, Metadata Service, etc. You can update the object stores independently. In my case, I only have a single object store, creatively named Object Store, so this is why I only see one listing under LCM for object service. If I had multiple object stores, they would all be listed as separate object service components eligible for upgrade. In this way, we would be able to upgrade object stores independently. If we select object services, we can see that objects manager is selected automatically as this is a dependency that the object store components have on the underlying or on the objects manager itself. It's also a good idea to upgrade MSP as well because of some features that may have been added there. Once we've selected everything, let's go ahead and click update. It'll go ahead and generate the update plans. It'll tell us the Genesis service will be restarted on the cluster and ask us if we're sure and we'll go ahead and apply the three updates. Just like when we updated Lifecycle Manager, we can monitor the progress from the task screen. So at this point, I'll go ahead and speed up the video so we don't have to wait for the upgrade to complete. And once it's done, we can jump back into the LCM UI and see that our components have been upgraded to 1.0.1. There are no software upgrades available now since we're at the latest. And we can also take a look at our object store itself just to make sure everything's running as we expect. As you can see, I have over 3 million objects on this object store. And we can see that there's activity on the object store currently. So it looks like everything went smoothly. So we can also just create a bucket here. We can see that it saved successfully. And so everything seems to be good to go. Thanks for watching.